Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new show that we're doing, a new type of format of thing. We don't really have a name for it right now, but I'm sure it'll come to us before this is uploaded, and I'm sure the name will not be great. Um, but <laughs> this is basically where <laughs> Paul and I talk about movies that we thought were uh, entertaining, <laughs> let's just say. Not not, not the best. <laughs> and um, the first movie that we came up with was this movie called The Septic Man. The army's been called in. Quarantine's the word that I've been hearing. How many contagious diseases have you been exposed to? I'm Jack, the septic man. It was a water crisis. My company's trying to figure out what's going on. Bingo, Mr. Frost. This has got to be the place. Ah! What happened to you? Ah! 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 I've never had a movie that was so centered around one thing. You know, the production, the acting, the general story itself, and as well as the reviews. They can all be summed up with one word. Mm -hmm. You want to know what that word is, Paul? What? Shit. (laughs) So so that was The Septic Man. What did you think of it, Paul? It themes us really, really well. (laughs) <laughs> really well, I believe. Um, I think it was a good choice to start with this for our new segment. Yeah, um, I think so. We're going to call it the Paw Corner. There you go. No, <laughs> the Paw <I'm> Corner. <laughs> just kidding. But um, I think it was a good starting point for us. Um, when watching the movie, there was a lot of things that I either couldn't believe or I was really happy to see, honestly. I was enjoying it. <laughs> I was really enjoying it. You weren't as much, but I, I was loved it. Not having a good time with it. It I was did so not like this. It was so vile and gross. I couldn't help but just be like, "Oh yeah, that's the good stuff." You know, I was smiling <laughs> a little bit watching it. I will say this. I will say this. I like throughout this throughout this show. I will do my best to never say don't watch this movie because obviously taste is so fucking subjective. Um. If you're a fan of just disgusting stuff, then you're going to like this movie. Like cuz it, it it it's just so nasty. Like the first 2 minutes is literally a, <laughs> a woman that has diarrhea and is throwing up. And it was <laughs> a really good segment. <laughs> It was an awesome segment, dude. That's you gotta admit. At least the sets were really well for, done. For all this movie's flaws, it's properly disgusting. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say that. Like, I thought that the set design and the makeup was really well done, and it was just so vile. Like, I'm I, I'm not a person that really is affected by that stuff. Like, I don't really, I don't really like gore and like poop and blood and shit. Like, but it doesn't bother me if that makes sense. Like, yeah. I'm not like, oh god, I can't watch, but like, I don't like it. (laughs) Yeah, Um, I'm, I'm, I think the opposite. The more disgusting and vile something can get, the better. Yeah. Uh, The movie is all uh, directed by Jesse Thomas Cook. He does a lot of like B movies. Uh, This just so happened to be something that he was an executive uh, producer on, Mm -hmm. executive producer on. Um, he went on to do other shit like Hellmouth and The Horde and Creep Nation. I, have, I, I think I've actually seen that one. Okay. I'm not certain. But they're all B-movies, so they're all schlock. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah. At the very least, he knows what he's doing. And I, I can appreciate him for that. There is one other guy that's attached to this film. His name is uh, Chad Archibald. Ch- and Chad. Chad Archibald. <laughs> I like his name already. Yeah. But he also pretty much go hand, he goes hand in hand with uh, Jesse Thomas Cook, and there is a film by Chad Archibald that I have seen in the past, okay. and that was uh, Bite 2015. Uh huh. And I saw Bite, and I was like, man, this is really gross. And then when <laughs> when I saw that he that his name was attached to Septic Man, I was like, okay, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I see where he comes from. Yeah. So it was pretty interesting to see that, and it's kind of cool that I guess he segmented off and did his own thing, but he brought some of the aspects with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it seems like he really learned because it, later on, when I force you to watch Bite with me, you're gonna <laughs> see. You're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I see where he came from." You, you, you can tell 
how practical how practical his uh, things are, and he does a really good job in making a set look super fucking gross, and it's it's beautiful. I yeah, love it. yeah. So I guess the general premise of this movie we haven't even really gone to that. Uh, the general premise of this movie is a guy. I think his name is Jack. He yeah, is, Jack. He's a septic tank worker, and he gets hired i guess to work on <laughs> quote unquote this, hired this one tank because it's like causing problems for a, a town and basically he falls in it and you know insanity ensues it's about a man losing his mind but we'll get into why it doesn't work <laughs> it's um, really interesting how it starts off too like you've mentioned before it starts off with a girl essentially shitting herself and puking at the same time and she <laughs> dies a, and she dies at the end and after she dies they just had to throw in a stock fart sound so it's like <laughs> what are you guys doing you know at the get-go we're just like what are they trying to achieve here like it, it's it's like this super intense like scene right the way it's filmed and stuff and then when she when she i mean like, like we're gonna go into spoilers here like um We'll release a sort of commentary track for this movie if you're interested in watching it. Um, if you want to watch along with us and kind of get our initial reactions to it. But we are going to be spoiling the movie and talking about it in depth. There's not really much to spoil, but we're going to be talking yeah. about it in detail. Yeah, so, so skip here if you want to not hear that. Or you can just pause this and watch the movie for yourself with our commentary track. And then you can come back. And, yeah. and finish this and That's give right. a like and subscribe go watch it it's smash good. that like button uh, <laughs> <clears throat> but so this is your warning so basically after this woman dies like she's like shitting and vomiting herself to death um and then when she dies after like a really intense scene it plays like the most generic fart sound effect you've ever like you've heard this fart sound effect a billion times <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, and we just couldn't help but like laugh at like how unnecessary it was because it was after she was dead. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. really dumb. And then it, from there, it just cuts to the septic man, you know, digging, <laughs> digging into a pipe with his <laughs> with his like bare hands or something. <laughs> He's wearing gloves, but like they're He's not very. Gloves. They're not like. They're like standard like food service worker gloves. They're not like the yellow like the ones that goes down to your elbow or something. They're just regular gloves, and he's wearing like a short sleeve shirt. <laughs> yeah, and he just digs into it and he starts grinding the stuff in his hand. And oh my some God, random so nasty. Yeah, and some random guy just ends up walking up to him and tells him, "Hey, hey, pal, you know we got a problem." He's whispering the whole time. <laughs> I we love got a that. He was just whispering all of his dialogue. <laughs> And you need to come down to the plant, fix it. And that's that's all we get. We don't know if this dude is good or not at what he does. Yeah. <laughs> we, all we saw was him sticking the fucking hand in the pipe. <laughs> so that that's like the, that's the whole gist. And it's up to him to save this town. But he obviously doesn't. Something goes wrong in that sewer, and but like, he ends up transforming <clears throat> over time. And there's a it's scene. Pretty- there's a scene where he's like. Where he goes home and he tells his pregnant wife that he has this job to fix the to fix the problem, and his wife's like, "Oh my god, how can you even be thinking of that right now? We have a baby on the way. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you?" And she just leaves him, and we were just mm-hmm. sitting there like they had like one conversation about this. <laughs> like, how on the yeah. fritz is their marriage that like one conversation is all it takes? <laughs> yeah. He didn't even know what was going on, by the way. He just kind of showed up and said, I, I got this job going on. But the wife is the one freaking out about what's going on. So I was curious as to like how he didn't know that this thing was going on, this like worldwide event or whatever. <laughs> See, but- I, think that, I think that Jack is a good self-insert for the audience because much like Jack, I didn't know what the fuck was happening. <laughs> <laughs> and they explain it like three times and i'm just like wait so is the is the water turning them into zombies is that make because there's a scene where the army is like fucking killing a guy that's like covered in blood i'm like is he a zombie then like what is wrong with it? why are they just shooting him yeah they never explain it honestly they don't yeah, they just, they just show that one scene and that's a they just kind of basically say like something is wrong with the water and you need to fix it but it's like, well, is it turning people into zombies? Is it making them vomit and shit until they die? Like, 
what is exactly happening here? It, this movie does a, such a horrible job of explaining what the problem even is. Yeah, and it gets even worse because the main character, you know, he gets involved in the infected poop water and he just transforms into a monster by the end yeah, of the movie. Yeah, like, like he's just like... slowly transforming, but like no one else in the so, movie was tra- like the yeah. girl in the beginning wasn't all like gross and like looking like she was just vomiting and shitting everywhere like it's just so like inconsistent i guess like, yeah it's, it's, it's explanation. actually really inconsistent yeah and I, I i just have to like kind of wonder what the directors thought at the time of how they wanted to address this to their audience and i think they probably just they probably just had like three different ideas and they're like you know what just put them all in you know we got to get this movie out here's how it happened ready I'll, uh-huh. I'll give you a fucking a, a little play if that's how it happened. Okay. So you, you hear the lighter, right? Like, tick, tick, tick. Mm-hmm. <sighs> dude, what if like we made a movie about a guy who falls into a septic <laughs> tank, and we made it like gross? <laughs> dude, that's such a fucking good idea. What if we made him like mutate and shit? Right, we never thought about that before. Fuck, <laughs> man, that's such a good idea. You know, it'd be really funny if a girl in the beginning of the movie shitted her shit and died. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's like my fetish, bro. What if she had, like, diarrhea? <laughs> what? Let's, yeah, hire, let's hire an actor geez. who can, like, barely speak English, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, speaking of language, they didn't really have the best dialogue. Well... In some instances, they had really good dialogue. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to the best character in the whole movie a little bit later. But I, I agree with you in that, like, a lot of this movie felt super clunky. Like, the way that they explain things or the way that characters come to realizations, like, the old infrastructure line was just so fucking bad. I, I like I, like, never really think about that stuff when I watch a movie. But Mm -hmm. essentially, like, so this main character, Jack, is trying to figure out what's wrong with the pipes. He's trying to figure out what is causing this issue. And his wife has left him at this point. So he's at his lowest point. And he's sitting in his bathtub and he goes, well, Jack, I guess you're just outdated infrastructure. Maybe you are old infrastructure, Jackie boy. (laughs) Talking to himself. And then he goes wait a minute outdated infrastructure and he's like and then it, it starts like this montage of him looking at like blueprints and so i'm like what a fucking horrible way for him to come to this conclusion they had to get it in they had to figure out a way to get him over there and that was what they went with so that's the best they can do well jack i guess your dead body's in the water wait a minute yeah <laughs> It doesn't feel natural. No human being talks like that. There, There's a lot of interactions like that, including the interaction with him and his wife as she's leaving him. Oh, he just God. goes, Shelly, come on. Shelly. I'm going now because I want to save our baby. I'm pretty sure that's the right thing for me to do. Shelly, please, come on. And that's it. <laughs> he, he doesn't try and stop her or anything. That's, no, that's he, all he gives. He doesn't do any, and, and it's just like... His wife is like, wait, you're really going to work here? We got to get out of here. Which, like, first of all, why do these people need to evacuate? It's in the water, not in the air. Like, uh, if any, if anything, zombies, you just I do guess. like, hey, boil boil your water. Texas literally goes through that shit every year. Yeah. Where their water is not safe to drink. They have to boil it. Yeah. Um, so, first, so first of all, that part is stupid. And then, like, his wife is like, Oh wait, you're trying to fix this problem? Fuck you! I'm leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, wait, you're, it's, you're doing your job. <laughs> all the motives are so weird to me in this, and it, things just they show up really awkward. Like the, uh, for example, like his van. His van is just covered <laughs> in shit at all times. We were talking about that. Like, if you hired a person to look at your septic tank and they showed up with a van that was covered in feces, I would want them to get the fuck off my property. Yeah, I wouldn't want that guy near me at all. No. Especially a guy that grinds poop in his hands. Like You are a horrible, you are horrible at your job. Yeah, how do you not keep your van clean or wash it every now and then? You don't it's want to show up to so a job like that. fucking weird. It's disgusting. 
It's disgusting. Who would do that? This person, Jack, he's recruited to fix this issue. And it's yeah. in the sense of like, you're the only one that can fix this problem. Yeah. And it's like, we never really even saw that he was good at his job in the first place. He was yeah, working with like his bare hands. <laughs> yeah. What was wrong with all the other sort of plumbers around the area? Why like, couldn't anyone like, else do it? Like there wasn't all they needed was just like oh there's no other like all the other plumbers all the other septic people don't want to do this job so I'm coming. They should. Like, I know you need yeah. the money because you got a baby on the way or something. <laughs> you should have called Mario up or something. <laughs> Mario, we need your help. We're we're becoming zombies out here. Mamma mia, that sounds <laughs> crazy, man. <laughs> Fuck all this. Let them be bring up my brother. <laughs> <laughs> they just go down the green pipe. So they recruit him to fix this problem. And then he goes to this area, which like is like the most abandoned looking oh, facility. By the way, the CIA, the CIA guy, he just walks off into the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> this, this guy, so he's like, oh, well, I'll give you a ride and we can talk there, right? So they're driving in the most boring fucking exposition scene ever. Um, they're driving and talking, and then he pulls over to get out of the car, and the scientist guy that recruits him just walks into a field, like this empty yeah. field with nothing around for miles. <laughs> like, yeah, he's waiting for his Uber. Did this guy need like a ride or something? <laughs> I don't know. He's waiting for his Uber or something, dude. Like, who knows? You know what's funny? You know what is crazy? So it turns out a lot of the people in this film are actually, uh, they, they, they went on to do pretty big stuff. Okay. Yeah. And that guy, he's actually in uh, Man of Steel. Oh, uh, who is he? Wait, hold on, hold on. The the CIA guy, right? Yeah, the CIA guy. He's in Man of Steel. Who is he in Man he's of Steel? He's one of the... Uh, he's one of the councilmen for... Um, yeah. Yes. He okay, is one of the I councilmen. remember looking at him. You're right. His name is Lorem. Yeah. What the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, so he went on to do big and better things. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, not only him. Like, There's a lot of pretty uh, good things that came out of this movie for whatever reason. <laughs> for these actors. <laughs> yeah, these actors went on to do pretty good things. So yeah, this guy agrees to do this job. And he shows up to this facility. And you can clearly tell that he just has no idea what to do with like the tanks or anything. Like, he just He just looks so lost working on this stuff and he finds like this underground area he starts to climb down it and the door closes on his head so it, it hits him in the head and he falls in the water in this pit and my immediate question to paul was why can't he just climb the ladder again <laughs> <laughs> and and that was a question that persisted throughout the entire fucking movie because it, it at no point did it ever show that this ladder was like long or short or like hard to access? So yeah, this entire movie is just him stuck in one location, and we immediately really got like saw vibes from it. It really seemed like he could just jump three feet in the air and he'd be able to exactly grab like the if ladder, he just no did problem. a little leap or something. And there was even a moment where the water was rising, and I was like, okay, cool, he can float and just grab onto the ladder and get out yeah, but- it doesn't outright tell you things which is what is so frustrating about it where it's like he falls into this area right but we never get his direct surroundings we never get that in this movie so in my head i'm like well this is an area that is serviced regularly by septic people surely there's a ladder for the latch right but we're never shown that. <laughs> well, no, sometimes you have to think, okay? You got to open your mind, all right? Yeah. They're, they're, these directors aren't going to hold your hand, okay? It's you got to use your it's brain, true. okay? Whenever a septic worker goes down there, they're just like, well, I guess I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I guess I'm dead now. And, you know, the movie goes on and he meets the, the giant, like I was saying, and he meets him through the ceiling. And. It, it looks terrible. It looks yeah. like a green screen was placed in front of the hole yeah. and he was just sticking his, his head out. The giant's first appearance. The giant is the best character in this whole fucking movie. But He's his awesome. First, his first appearance had me fucking dying laughing because of how 
horrible the green screen looks. Like, you can just clearly tell that he is not actually in that scene. He's so cool. I love that guy. I'm glad he went on to do big and better things. He, he's essentially like a, like a weirdo and a dumb guy here. Mm-hmm. But he's a, he's, he's a wrestler from like, from like SmackDown versus Raw or WWF. Yeah. yeah. He's actually a wrestler. Uh, he's the, uh, he's the giant in this movie. I think that's his role in this movie or whatever. And he actually went on to do a bunch of stuff. Like he's in Percy Jackson, Pacific Rim. He did Hercules, Deadpool 2. He he went on to do a lot of stuff, dude. Oh shit, that's crazy. It's insane. (laughs) Sometimes sometimes you just need to give that turd a nice wipe. Okay. (laughs) And, uh, and you find some gold underneath. Hey, you alive? <laughs> Almost there. Steady. Almost there. The way that this guy talks, like, uh, the actor's name is Robert Mayet, Maylet. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. just, apologies, Mr. Robert, because I know you're listening to this. Apologies for how I say your name. but <laughs> He keeps track um, of every review. In the commentary track, the I pointed one. out that he's a very unique looking person. And his voice is very unique too. I don't think he's a very good actor, but he was the best character in this movie by far. Mm-hmm. Just the way that he delivered I, some lines was just, just cracked me up. Dude, I loved it. Every time he came on screen, it was a joy. I loved looking at his... Uh, <laughs> His masculine jaw. Yeah, like, he, <laughs> he was, like, a big dumb brute for this other character that we'll get into a little later. And when they first meet, he throws a chain down for our main character. He's like, oh, you could climb the chain. So <laughs> he he starts to do that, right? He starts climbing up the chain slowly. It's like this really tense scene or whatever. And then once he gets to the top, he just... The giant just fucking stabs him. Yeah, he just stabs him at random. Just <laughs> for no reason. And he apologizes to him later. He goes, sorry I stabbed you. Sorry I stabbed you. It's just like, <laughs> it's so fucking crazy. As time goes on, I guess it might be because of the wounds. Or maybe the fumes that were involved. Or whatever the fuck. But... Our main character, Jack, he starts mutating. And you can start seeing, like, lumps form on his head and stuff like that. Yeah, and so... I thought all that looked great. Yeah, the makeup in this movie is great. Like, the slow, gradual transformation of our main character is actually really, really well done. Yeah, um, looks awesome. But there's an element to this movie, and we were talking about it. Like, th- he, there's no good way that this movie shows the passage of time. Because mm-hmm. he falls in and he just immediately starts hallucinating. Where we're just like, wait, he's only been down here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this guy has like the worst mental in the world. And Paul actually brought up a good port, a good point where it's like, oh, maybe he's breathing in like methane, like for, for poop. And he's like hallucinating because of that. And I'm like, that's a fucking great point paul unfortunately the movie never brings that up <laughs> so, yeah they so never you, mentioned it you just that's your head cannon <laughs> yeah perhaps um, they never mentioned it so you're probably right maybe they forgot maybe they didn't know i don't know i but, i feel like this movie like this movie could have worked as like a 30 to 40 minute short. It's so padded oh, yeah. and it's so like unnecessarily long. And this movie's only an hour and 20 minutes, but it's still so much longer than it needs to be. I felt the opposite, man. The, the time flew for me. Maybe it's because I was having a good time just shooting the shit, but <laughs> but it was, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I had a good time. I, I felt pretty quick in my yeah. books. Yeah. It, may, it may have felt like an eternity for you, but for me, it was like a, a huge water slide going down into the <laughs> sewer. It was great. I didn't really feel like it was way too long. I just felt like I was watching this movie and I'm like, yeah, this could have been a short. Like, I don't think this needed to be like a feature length movie. That's fair. Um, I, I actually thought the same. It could have been shortened quite a bit. There could have been multiple areas where they could have just not included it. Yeah. We didn't like, need to know anything about his wife. We didn't need to know anything about the CIA guy. 
<laughs> yeah, there's yeah. just so much like random elements to this movie. Like it'll just randomly cut away to like the giant and his companion, who I, I don't know his name, but he's like this weird crackhead with sharp teeth. Um, his name is uh, Timothy Bird. The, yeah, and he's also in Saw. Oh, actually, shit. what the hell? Yeah, That's he's in crazy. Saw too. Yeah. Have you ever seen Saw two? And uh, he he plays Obi. Obi, Where? the the pyromaniac. Oh, okay. The guy that gets yeah. burned in the furnace. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, he plays him. Well, there you go. He's, he's in the movie. not only that, again, this is another of the cast that went on to do bigger and better things because instead... Of, he actually dropped out of acting after Saw 2. Uh-huh. And he... Or, well, rather, he, he dropped out of acting after The Septic, <laughs> the septic Man. Because <laughs> The Septic Man came, came out in 2013. Yeah. But um, he ended up just doing props for movies. So oh. he's just a prop guy. Oh, nowadays and he's been on a lot of stuff he's been on tons of stuff he's been on arrow hey, a series him, of unfortunate man. events bates motel Jeez. dc legends of tomorrow yeah he's been on a lot of stuff so good for him he, he was even on the revenant oh shit okay yeah he, he did really good for himself good for him and that's um, that's that's saying a lot because the only lines he gets in this movie is just him <laughs> going ha <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and, he, and he talks in French too. But anyways, yeah, one sentence of French. And yeah. That's it. So yeah, he's like this weird crackhead companion that he has, um, and they're like killing people and throwing them in the water. That's why the water is getting all like weird and shitty. They didn't really explain that, but I think that's the gist of it, right? And yeah. Like you can it, like the movie kind of like spells it out for you. That they're that they're killing yeah. people and throwing Same. them in the water. That's yeah. why the water's turning people into zombies. <laughs> they don't. They didn't explain that part, but <laughs> but they, they they did show that they're probably killing people and throwing them in the Ex- water. Like exactly. Yeah. But nothing about the the virus. Exactly. Yeah. The bald crackhead with the spiky teeth is like mad that the giant didn't kill our main character for some reason. So he's like threatening to kill him. So then the giant comes back to Jack and is like, I need you. Th- I need your help. If we double team him, then we win. But then he closes the, th- the Then he's the like, I'll free him. you. And then I guess weeks pass by. Yeah. And then there's a cute little Iron Man scene in the movie. They just do an homage to Iron Man for whatever reason. <laughs> and our main character starts banging on a pipe with a hammer and makes yeah. a spear. There's like this weird scene where he's making the spear. And I, and I even said to Paul, I'm like, oh, this is when they double team the guy. He's going to use the spear. Yeah. But then nothing happens. Like they just meander around for weeks, I guess, in the movie universe until the time comes where the crackhead is going to kill the giant and then they just he just kind of wanders around it doesn't do anything <laughs> they use the same hall for both they, characters yeah, there's this movie <laughs> has like three sets and Dude. the the hallway and the sewer like they just have both characters wandering around it like they're looking for each other and then you're just like they're clearly in the same place. <laughs> yeah, they had one one area with a budget of like two hundred bucks. They paid off the manager the manager to just walk away for like an hour so they can <laughs> yeah. record this. Like, hey, we're closing up in like twenty minutes. So <laughs> get the fuck out of here! Yeah, he's smoking on a cigar as they're doing their little show. <laughs> hey, what is he supposed to be? Some yeah. kind of mutant? Some kind of mutant something? <laughs> Almost there. Oh god, but <laughs> essentially so so yeah, like the climax of this movie is the crackhead is going to kill the giant and he opens up the 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 vault, the the latch. He's like, "Oh, it's too late. We waited too long. He's going to kill me now." And this whole time I was thinking, <laughs> just throw the chain down. The, you know, the chain yeah. that you established earlier in the movie, just throw the chain down. And then let him climb out and just, I don't know, <laughs> run. <laughs> but instead he just tries to fit himself down into yeah. the hole and gets stuck. Yeah, he gets scared oh, of the no! Oh, oh no, I'm stuck. And I'm like, 
at this point, I was fucking, I was losing it, dude. I was like, no way this is happening. This is not a real fucking movie. Yep. He gets chainsawed in half. He gets chainsawed in half by the crackhead, and he falls in the water. It was awesome. And, yeah. It's a good effect. It's a very good effect. And at this point, our main character has just kind of lost his mind. Um, but again, you don't really believe it, because this movie doesn't do a good job of, like, Maybe I'm spoiled by like other eh. movies like showcasing insanity, but like I really don't think this movie did a good job of showcasing that. I saw that he was starting to lose his mind when he was talking to a corpse and peeling off his own skin. Yeah. But that was kind of the only indication that he was losing his mind. Yeah. For the most and like you said, we don't know how much time had passed. Like honestly, when when I was watching it with you, I thought like a day had passed. Yeah. At most. That's at it. most, but like no, I guess this movie's trying to tell you that like months or weeks had passed. Yeah. Like like for this show, I don't I really think, know. You know what? You know what, Noah? Uh, I think we probably missed a detail. I I think it might have been the pregnant woman. Because at the beginning of the movie she wasn't very pregnant, but towards the end of the movie then she was very pregnant. So I'm assuming <sighs> months did pass. See, but right? she's she's barely in the movie. So like you can't really blame us for missing that. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Like At we first, might, her stomach looked like a deflated pillow. Or, I don't know how like technical I want to get with this, sh- like in this show, because it might be like very like meandering. But like I was telling Paul that this movie is actually a pretty good example of how not to edit a horror movie, or how not to edit a movie like that like showcases insanity. Yeah, because there are so many random scenes that happen. Like a montage of him doing something, but it's always missing crucial elements that would really show you this character's dwindling mental state. Like, yeah. there's a pretty good scene where he's mapping out the sewers, his his surroundings. Like he's going around back and forth, like throwing up a lot. There's a lot of throw up in this movie. <laughs> there's a ton of throw up and poop everywhere. Um, where he's going kind of back and forth because he discovers like that the sewer actually goes deeper. He goes back and forth mapping it all but there's never any scenes of him like sleeping waking up doing it again like marking the days there's nothing like that so i'm like is he doing this all on the same day is he like i'm just so confused (laughs) yeah you don't really get much of that but you do get a he realizes what he's become (laughs) yeah it's one of those uh uh coming into age kind of stories you know coming into <laughs> mutant yeah, real stories coming of age story. uh, you know, because t- i mean towards the end of the movie he ends up picking up poop and just smearing it on himself like he has oh, become the so sewer nasty. man the yeah. septic man you know so he's realized what he's become and that is when the fight scene with the crackhead begins which <laughs> After the crackhead kicks or kills the uh, giant, he just jumps into the hole and gets stuck himself. Like how he? How is he gonna get out now? That was so but, fucking weird. Yeah, he just decides to jump in to kill the guy. Yeah, but he, even if he killed him, he's gonna be stuck there too. So it's kind of yeah. And then when he jumps in the the tank too, he looks everywhere but behind him. <laughs> well. Like, well, no, uh, remember when he's climbing into the in, into the hole, he does look around. He's at the top of the ladder and he looks around the room and then he jumps off and didn't realize he was behind him. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So, uh, so like I was just like, how did he miss him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they like fight a little bit and he chokes him out with the giant's like fucking like digestive cord or whatever. The long intestine. His intestine, yep. He chokes him out with that, and then they fight, and then he stabs him with the spear. Like, the spear comes into play, like, 45 minutes later. <laughs> yeah, they put it aside after the Iron Man scene, and then they yeah. just never talk about it until that scene. And then they have this weird scene where they try to make the crackhead, like, sympathetic. When he yeah. wasn't before, like he was just not straight sure. up evil. Yeah, I'm not sure why they did that. They just kind of had him go French mode and start <laughs> talking about baguettes. It's but. like it's like the writers were like when they when they realized they were gonna kill this character, they're like, oh shit, there's like nothing to this character. <laughs> yeah, there's no backstory. Just make him French, make him French or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's all they did, and then he dies, and you know the septic man gets stuck there until. 
the lady comes back and his, his wife. or his wife comes back sorry his wife yeah. comes back finds out somehow that he's at the water treatment plant this is this is what's so weird it's like so we should establish this so the wife character returns after the water problem is fixed and she doesn't know where her husband is she calls um the scientist guy i'm just gonna call him silco from arcane because that's what he looks like and sounds like um so she calls silco and is like where the fuck's my husband and he's and the and silco is like i don't know and i was like you sent him there <laughs> like yeah <laughs> I'm sorry. Are we watching the same movie? You literally sent him to that location. Unless he's just trying to hide her or hide the fact that her husband is in there. Or See, something. but th- that was the angle we thought this movie was going with. That he knew that this water would mutate people, and he just wanted yeah. to see. But then he's just thrown in the water, and he's dead. Yeah, like the very so, next scene. Yep. So that that they kind of just threw that aside. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And they then, tossed it in the fucking toilet. Yeah, and then um, his wife somehow finds the treatment plant, finds him somehow in, in there. Somehow finds him. And she, like, walks there? Like, no yeah. one has a car in this movie or a phone. Yeah. Yep. They couldn't afford it for with the budget they were given, so. Besides the shit-covered van. But. <laughs> yeah, so, uh. so so she walks into this treatment plant after after the crackhead and the giant are dead. And she finds her husband... And he, she sees that he's just like too mutated, too crazy at this point, and she just decides to kill him after one conversation. <laughs> she decides he's a lost cause, and she's gonna kill him. Yep, yep. And, and she was, does it with the most obnoxious way possible, right, Noah? <laughs> yeah, she like you are dying on that one. She starts like filtering the water. Like she starts like turning on the valves and like making the water go through. And I was my first thought I'm like, wait, could have this whole movie had been avoided if this guy had just done that? Right? Cause I don't think it was ever established that like the pipes were blocked by something. Like there was no reason why he couldn't have just turned the levers like she did. Uh, yeah. and, I, and I was like, apparently this guy's wife is more qualified for his job than he is. She should have been the uh, septic woman. The septic. <laughs> hey, hey, there you go. When they remake this movie in like 10 years. Um, yeah. And it was just like so odd. I had so many questions. I, it was just like, this was a script. Well, before we get into that, I guess, like, so the movie ends with him wandering out because I guess the water pushes him to safety. It, it pushes him to escape. And there's these two guys just fishing near a sewer. I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck they're looking for. Um, the three-eyed fish. Yeah, we were saying the three-eyed fish from The Simpsons. Um and then this guy wanders out and he screams at them and he's like he has like stink breath and then That's the it. movie just kind of ends. Yep. Like it just That's fades it. to black and I was like what a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. I'm glad I enjoyed it at least. There was like I mean this movie wasn't all bad. Like we've I've just been shitting on it this whole time. Like I feel like the story was really nonsensical. But, like, you legitimately could re-edit this movie and make it pretty good. I think that if you just change some scenes around, cut the fat, and make it, like, a 40-minute short, this is this can be pretty solid. Yeah, it would have been really solid, actually. Yeah, um, like, you're right. There was like, just a lot of stuff that they could have not included. Again, the CIA guy did nothing. The wife did nothing but kill the husband. Yeah, yeah. Hell, even even the fucking giant and the crackhead didn't really do anything. Yeah, they they did fucking nothing. Like they were just completely useless characters that didn't yeah. really need to be in the movie. There was a whole lot of nothing in this <laughs> yeah. movie. That's for sure. Whole lot of nothing. So after this movie ended, because this movie is only like an hour and twenty minutes long, it's 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 really not a long watch at all. It might feel longer to you if you're not super into it, but like honestly. I didn't think that this movie felt that long. After we watched this movie, I was curious and I looked up some reviews. I have to say, there's eight reviews on IMDb. Okay. <laughs> I have to say, this is a very, very divisive 
really section yes i figured i mean look you hate it i love it so so i'll read you a one out of ten star review all right so the tagline is worst i've seen in a while (laughs) and it was it it reads one of the worst low budget horror flicks i've seen in a long time septic man is a story that literally tells the fate of a sewage worker who finds himself trapped in a septic tank and gradually transforms into a hideous beast that's the entire film with 90% of the running time taking place in a dark and filthy set. I knew this would be junk from that impossible opening sequence, and so it proves no plot, no characters, dumb dialogue, random gore, and, an- and endless gross-outs do not, pr- do not a proper film make. <laughs> Those are their words, not mine. <laughs> um, Give me a good one. Okay. So that's a one star, and this one is a 9 out of 10 review. So it's, I cannot for the life of me fathom some of the negative reviews. I guess people don't go for something this far out of the horror mainstream or something. I love this movie. I see it as like a giallo film, but an especially brilliant one. (laughs) Holy shit. Wow. This guy is on some fucking military grade podium. A unique, flawed masterpiece. (laughs) It's likely to become a cult (laughs) favorite. Uh, Did you write this? Uh, I um, no can't say. I can agree with that. I can actually agree with that. It's been over. It's been almost ten years now. I don't think it, <laughs> it just hasn't been picked up yet. Hey, maybe maybe we can elevate it to cult status. Anyway. Who knows? I think we're like one of the few reviews to do it. So I, I would be go watch this if movie. Any other fucking review? Go watch this movie. It's worth it. Let's bring it to theaters. I it's will worth s- it. I will say, I did not like this movie very much at all, but you, it's definitely worth watching to see if yeah. you would be interested in it. So, Noah, what did you think of the movie? As you can probably tell, I oh did God, not still like goes? this movie very much. Oh, I thought it was the review still. Okay. No, so no, you no. didn't like this movie? No, I would... Would you, I didn't, would you recommend it? Of course, yeah, for sure. I would never like... Would you pay money for it? Ooh, no. You paid money for it, so that I'm cool with that, but <laughs> I would not pay money for this. Um, the only way you can really see this movie is for renting it on Google Movies or something? What was it? Yeah, it was on Google Play. That's the only area you can find it right now. <laughs> that was the only way we could find this movie. Um, no other way. Yeah, no. I didn't really like this movie at all. I thought it lacked any sort of substance. However... However, the sets and makeup are surprisingly really fucking good. Yeah. And um, like I said earlier, if this movie was just edited down to like 40 minutes, I feel like you have something pretty solid here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, But um, I don't really do a numbers rating. I would recommend you just watch it for yourself. I wasn't crazy about it, but I think that people who like more gross out stuff will definitely get something out of this. Mm-hmm. So I, on the other hand, enjoyed the movie. I had a good time, mm-hmm. though it was a little slow at some sections. But that's okay because once it came down to the nitty gritty, uh, I sat down on my throne and my porcelain <laughs> throne, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, Paul was watching this movie the whole time while he had the diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> it enhanced the experience. It really, it really helped immerse me. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is um, that was Septic Man. That was Septic Man, indeed. I don't really have anything else to say about it. Um, nope, that's the end of the review. That's the end of our first one. We're still figuring out the format, so excuse our choppiness. But I think that was a pretty good first episode. Oh, wait, there's think, one thing I need oh to... Oh, my God! What? <laughs> so one, thing, one more thing I needed to include. This right. movie manages to fuck up the credits. Oh, yeah. How how do you fuck up the credits? So first of all, the credits are off to the to the right hand side, like they're not centered, which normally indicates you're gonna see like additional scenes uh, in the credits, like scenes that maybe were maybe were cut or like bloopers if you're a comedy movie, you know, something like that. So this movie has that, but it only has one scene that's shown. And it's one of the best scenes in the movie. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Honestly, 
they, I don't know why they cut it out. It they, been they, it. for whatever reason, they cut the scene out. It's when, when it would have perfectly encapsulated him losing his mind. Basically, it's just like, and like, stay watching the credits for like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and you'll see this scene. And it's like dead bodies rising from the water, and they start to like put guts and stuff on him, and they crown him as like a king. And, you know, it's not great, but it's, like, definitely way more than this movie ever gave us about him losing his mind. Yeah, and it was definitely needed. For some reason, it's in the fucking credits. And it's not even in a way that, like, 95% of the people who watch this movie would even see it. Because most people turn the movie off as soon as the credits start rolling. Yep. And I was just, I was so baffled by it, its exclusion. But... Whatever, man. I'm fucking over this movie. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for listening, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful night. Yes, Uh, we sure did. Wonderful night. And yeah, this is these are some changes to our format. We hope you guys like this stuff. There's going to be more new, exciting shows coming soon. Oh yeah, Uh, you'll see them just as they come. The regular podcast isn't going away. We're just changing some elements of it because we were, you know. I personally was experiencing just a little bit of burnout. The crusty cat, the crusty couch is getting a little, a little too crusty for Noah. That's it's, that's all. Yeah. I, well, I think it wasn't crusty enough. That that was oh. my problem. Oh. But this shit is gonna make it real crusty. Okay. Okay. We just have to kind of we we have to iron out some things, but yeah. We I think I think we had fun. Didn't yeah. We? It was this was good. This yeah. was a lot of fun, and um, like I mentioned earlier. Um, a commentary track of some sort will be released of of this movie if you for whatever reason feel like watching this um yes. we'll include a link for you to rent or buy this movie and then we'll also include a link for you to tune in to our commentary track just so you can kind of get our, our initial reactions and feel like you're watching this movie with friends because you don't have any yeah yeah <laughs> luckily noah and i have each other oh <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody, and uh, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, like help us feel rewarded for trying something new. <laughs> yes, let's get the word out. And All uh, right. we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>